Hi, I'm Dylan with Class Dojo, and in this video, we'll be discussing directory setup and management with a focus on student connections. Before we get started, it is important to note that many of the capabilities I'll demonstrate in this video are only possible with an admin or school leader type account. So if you are not able to take some of the steps I'm about to describe, that might be why. Okay, to navigate to the student section of your school's Class Dojo directory, first click directory on the left hand menu and then click on the Students tab. In this section, you'll have a few capabilities. We'll start with the ability to add students to your school's Class Dojo directory. To add student profiles to your school's Class Dojo directory, click the Add Students button. First, you'll be taken to a screen where you can run student names and optionally parent email addresses. If you click the Import Student List button at the top of this screen, you'll be able to copy and paste student names from a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet. Once you add all of the student information that you'd like into any of these sections, you're able to click Done Adding Students, and all of those student profiles will then appear in the Students tab of your directory. Next, we'll talk about the option to graduate or remove student profiles. Graduating essentially freezes the student's connection. Their family will not receive any new school story posts, but they should still be able to see all posts that were shared up until the date of graduation. Graduating a student can also be undone. Removing a student from the school removes all of the former school story posts from the family's feed. The student cannot be reconnected and this cannot be undone. You can graduate or remove students from a few different locations in the student section of your school directory. The first option is to click on the graduate button at the top of the section. Here you'll be able to select currently active classes to graduate all of the students rostered in that class. Next, you'll be able to click the three dots next to each grade level header, which will give you the option to graduate or remove all students within that grade. If we click on remove to start, we can see that it pre-selects all students in that grade. You'll have the option to unselect students that you may not want to remove, but then ultimately we'll be able to click the red remove button at the bottom of the screen to remove all selected students. Also, by clicking on those same three dots, you'll be able to graduate all students currently rostered in that grade. Similarly to the remove section, you'll be able to unselect any students that you don't want to graduate from that grade. Once you have all of the students selected that you do want to graduate, click the graduate button at the bottom and those students will be graduated within your school directory. Lastly, if you click on an individual student profile, you'll be able to remove that individual student from the school-wide student directory. Also in this section is the ability to view reports for an individual student, edit the name as it appears within their profile connected to your school, add or remove parent connections to that child's profile, and view all of the classes that that student is currently rostered in. The next capability you'll have is the ability to merge student profiles. To access this feature, click on the Merge button at the top of the section. Here you'll be able to search for the two student profiles that you may want to merge together. This feature may be useful if the same student has had two profiles created for them. For more information on this feature, you can either click on the More Info button at the bottom of the section or access the Class Dojo Help Desk article on merging duplicate student list. Student profiles get added to the grade level category of whatever their highest grade level class is within your school's Class Dojo class director. So if Pam is rostered in both a 12th grade and a 10th grade, she will get designated as a 12th grade student because 12th is higher than. The grade level categories are organized from highest to lowest. At the bottom of your directory, you may have two categories not associated with any particular grade, no active classes and no classes. Students in the no active classes were rostered in an active class at one time, but likely those classes have since been archived. 
students in the no classes section were either never added to an active class to begin with or were added to an active class at one time but then were subsequently removed from that class roster. Students will remain in either of these sections unless they are graduated, removed, or added to a new active class. That brings us to the end of this video on directory setup and management with a focus on student connections. Thanks for watching.